Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aries for love and relationship for the month of September 2024. Someone is really very overwhelmed over you. Like, you know, they want to see you and they miss you so much. It says here that you need to open your heart and let go, like, you know, too many things in your life or, or in your past with this person that is making you both apart. And I know it's not your fault. This person had a relationship, was in a relationship, and I get here they walked away from someone. This is for people who are waiting for someone who is really already in commitment or with a spouse or engaged or in a committed relationship with someone else in a third party. And I get here that this person is really moving toward you more at this current time. This person is really worried about you that you moved on, walked away because you haven't been really talking, calling or doing anything. And they don't know what's going on exactly in your life. You are trying to let go this person and move on. But I get here you are watching their news. Maybe it's their social media. If you are closer in the area, possibly watching like, you know, their, their car in front of the house. If they have other cars, if they have other pictures, you are trying to watch them. And I get here you are not really, really uh, being able or capable to be watching every single detail in their life. But, you know, you have an idea a little bit. Um, this person, like, you know, that they have really some news to tell you. And they are really thinking about every single detail they want to tell you when they come back to you. They feel like you know, that you are the one for them. And you have been really the one for them. And I get here that, but you don't understand because you haven't been hearing from the other person. You feel like you know, maybe they are fooling around, they are cheating, they are with someone else. And I get here that this person hasn't been really talking to anybody or been out like, you know, um, to talk. And you could be... It's kind of like they are uh, uh, blocked, like, you know, by the other person in their life. Like, you know, that person is not really letting them to have their freedom. Something about it, like, you know, that they have been really watched a lot from another person. Uh, you feel like, you know, that you want to block this person or they could be really like, you know, blocking you when you are kind of like, you know, really demanding or things. You want to talk to them. See, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm seeing like, you know, two different situations and they are really getting mixed up with each other. Like, you know, there is, if you are single and you are not really married to that person and that person, even like, you know, that you love is not really married to anybody or involved with anybody you want to talk to this person, but they keep you blocked from communications on the phone, over the phone. But if you are really involved with someone that they are really in a current relationship, this person is really moving on from that person. They want to walk away from them. They want to be with you. They worry about you a lot, but they cannot really be there for you because they have been, they have been really watched from the other person. Okay, and they cannot really like to commit to their time, like you know, just to be with you or to come to you yet, but it's gonna happen. You need to stop watching the other person because it's causing like you know, so much pain deep inside you. You don't want to look at this, this other person. You get confused living like you know in your own thoughts, memories, and everything. And you feel like, you know, that's it. You know, this person maybe is really over between us and they are not ever going to come back. That's your thought, your thinking. This person haven't been really hearing from you 
and they think that you shut the door on them, they want you to come to them. See what's going on? Both of you are thinking about each other, not saying much to each other. Um, if you have been really doing the effort all the time and most of the time, you feel it's really the other person's turn, so you need to wait to the other, for the other person to get used to idea that you are not going to do it anymore or be there to be the one, actual one who does the effort all the time. All righty. It says here it's not over. They haven't been really making up their mind to talk to you because they think that you might be really still interacting with someone from your past. Either you are divorced to someone and you are talking to your ex. Or you are being like, you no, know, you were in a relationship with someone, like, you no, know, maybe not in marriage also. Um, and you're still talking to other people that they, they don't want you to talk. This person that you love is really extremely very jealous. You have some jealousy too, but the other person is really extremely jealous and they don't want you to deal or interact or to open the door for one of your exes. That's what's going on here. And you still feel like that, no, I cannot give up on my ex because they can be really helping me. And the other person like no, doesn't believe in that because you can help yourself or they can help you. You cannot really rely on your exes anymore. You need to let them go for you to have a, a good relationship with this person. That's why they don't want to talk to you because they are stressed out and they want you to make a change in your life for them to take over and be with you. Okay. And you feel like no, maybe they need to let go of the other person also. It's really mixed up here, all righty. He or she could be really disappointed with you at this current time because your situation is not changing and they want your freedom and their freedom also from the other person. It's like they want to free themselves if you free yourself also like you know, from the other person. Kind of like you are waiting for them to free themselves and they are waiting for you to free yourself. All righty. You want this person to get a divorce from another person. I get that. Let go of your jealousy because it's really not making you act or react with this person uh, right. You believe that he or she like you know, maybe sleeping with others. And it's not your fault because they are the one who's leading you into that thought. You know, they might really tell you, I'm going to flirt with someone or have an affair with someone or, or date other people and you believe it. And they give you the doubt in yourself and not making you confident enough to be happy. Um, so that's why you are not really acting the right action or taking the right action with this person. And I get here beside if he or she is really married to someone, you want them to walk away and you feel like, you know, that why I don't deserve like, you know, the early the marriage. And I get here that that's why some of you are still really dealing with the ex because they feel like, no, I'm not going to make the choice unless they do. That's what's really dumping on both energy because he or she is giving you the doubt in yourself. You are giving them the doubt in themselves and it's not really working for that. Like when they make you jealous, you are making them jealous back. It's like you are spending most of the time how you are going to get each other instead of really thinking how we can make each other happy. You are both wasting your time. He or she think you are the one fascinated by you, attracted to you, and wants you, and want to be with you. They are coming back no matter what. This person is coming back to you, even if they have been really like not talking to you for a long time, or dealing with you for a long time. 
at least like you know that they want you not to investigate them not to be after them not really to talk about really like you know bad stuff drama um anger jealousy um it doesn't matter what it is like you know they want you to be really like you know ongoing have that excitement in your heart see i see everything here but i don't see any excitement or love i see it's all of it emotions anger confusion guessing reading between lines but i'm not really seeing any of the reality of really what's going on i mean in the reality what i see that this person would love to be with you and you are the only one they think about you think about them too but your thoughts getting really so much get carried away so much that you feel like you know, that you are in the drama you want to catch whom they are loving or talking to or dealing with they are not it's just like you know there are too many things like you know, changing in their life and they just really busy with it and i get here they cannot really like you know, manage to come to you now but they are coming uh, what i meant like you know in the past like you know really a month or two or whatever like you know they haven't been really there too many things has changed in their life that's why they changed their pattern with you and every time they want to talk to you, you have to say something really eh, to upset that person. And they are like, no, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> they don't want to give you any attention. And I get here that you need really to be on your best well behavior. What this person is asking for, they want you to be the actual person that they met in the beginning. You were really exciting happy go lucky confident looking good looking your best like you know speaking like you know in a very nice way to him or her and they were fascinated with it and they want you to go back with it like you know for that again and i get here that you want your person also to be really spoiling you and coming all the time and everything well since the harsh words have been said between you two a lot in the past one year, maybe a few months ago and everything, it changed the person. And you feel like, you know, uh, every time like you know, there are fights and there are arguments, we, uh, there are weird stuff going on. That's why you become lonely. You are sitting in your own thoughts without really having the relationship like you know, to continue. That person backed off on you because they were stressed out really very much in the past. Now they are trying to get over it and try to come to you more forward. But yet you still on your behavior, you want to watch every detail because you don't really trust that person and you feel like you know, maybe they are with someone else. Here we go. You are angry again, feeling that this person is suspicious to you. You are not really trusting that per Okay, this is your mad. And you think that this person is cheating or fooling around over the internet or social media you insist on that because you are very stubborn and you don't want to listen i'm sorry to say that there are too many things to do online does it have to be real like you know just really being messy people have people who live overseas and they want to talk to them friends family they have really friends not just to talk. They have work to do. Like, you know, it's not really necessary that they have to talk and being nasty online. You know what I mean? You know, people socialize. The only thing that you are really need to pay attention to, you are in denial. You don't think that you said something or you did something that the other person take, took a stand and backed off. You want to blame it on the cheating or somebody else or a third party and this person feel like no that's it i'm done i'm not gonna talk to this person which is you because they are confused about me perhaps i'm married whatever maybe i'm lazy sometimes and they blame it on other people and they don't really want to come back and talk to me really nicely I want to go back with them, but at this current time, my ego is standing in the way, you know. There is so much misunderstanding between you two, but I see that you love each other, you belong to each other, and you need really to stop on all of this nonsense. Let go all of your worry, your anxiety, move on from really getting suspicious with your person. 
he or she is not innocent. They get suspicious with you too, but you are mostly going, driving yourself crazy about it. Um, so the hate, the anger, the yelling, the screaming, the cursing need to go. Cut it off. Speak to your person like you nicely. And you don't have to mention your ex like you know, to tease them. Or you don't have to be really mentioning other people and say, Oh, my co-worker like you know, winked at me and left and left in my face. I think they are staring at, uh, excuse me, my behind or my uh, boobs or whatever. Well, you don't have to do that. You know, because you are making yourself hate you and suspicious with you more. Don't do these things. Just focus on the love, excitement, happiness between you two, and everything will work out. Best of luck for you, dear Ares. I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And the link for my website is be below this video, mysticalaziza.com. After you click on my website, click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call. My phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.